Meet your Fabian spends her weeks teaching sculpture at Sacramento City College. But on the weekends, she returns to her studio in San Jose to work on her own sculptures. My hands have to be incredibly clean when I do the tape work. Tape and other everyday materials are important ingredients in Mitra's work. I kind of have an obsession with tape. <laughs> um, whenever I had to repackage something, I would use tape, like a, a chip bag or something. If I rolled it back up, I would always tape it shut. And the funny thing about this whole process is that I feel so scientific. I feel... <laughs> Uh, like a surgeon or something. Under the magnifying glass, pieces of tape turn into mysterious bulbs with neon-colored pom-poms peeking through the pores. In Mitra's hands, plastic medical supplies transform into shapes barely resembling their original forms. This is cast glue, white glue, just Elmer's glue. And I like the idea that they look like bug eggs or, you know, just something just hatched out of them and they're kind of mysterious. These eggs are the latest incarnation of Mitra's relationship with glue, which started in her childhood years in Boston. One of my favorite things to do was to squeeze out a big puddle of glue onto a piece of paper and let it dry on the radiator till it blistered. And then, <laughs> I mean, this is kind of a yuck factor, but I just love being able to squeeze it and have this glue just kind of <laughs> pop out like uh, pus from a wound or... <laughs> Meacher often plays on the line separating the beautiful from the grotesque and inanimate objects from living beings. When I play with the material and I was just kind of pulling it apart and letting it settle back together. I just really got this impression like the material was breathing. She calls this floor sculpture made of window blinds ventilate. It's kind of a term that we might apply to what humans do or what machines are supposed to do for humans, uh, you know, when they're on a ventilator. And there's always this quality to my work in terms of is it benign, is it malignant, is it this, you know, friendly growth or is it this kind of evil thing that's, <laughs> you know, going to give you respiratory problems or become cancer in some way. Having people in my family and close family friends die of cancer has really affected uh, my work. Recently, my dad's best friend from high school passed away from cancer, and her mother died the same way, and her father died the same way. This idea of, of unnatural growth is something that has been fascinating to me um, for many, many years. So Mitra sees many of her pieces as some form of abnormal growth. I do picture it as some sort of mutation, like they're growing smarter, <laughs> um, you know, figuring out different ways to adapt to their environment to, you know, seduce the innocent bystander. I won't say that every person that sees my work knows exactly what I'm going after, but I always get some reference to growth or something abnormal. <laughs> is happening, so they do get that much. Ventilate will be the centerpiece of our show starting in August at the San Jose Institute of Contemporary Art. Hey, Hello. let me help you. Kathy Kimball, the director of the gallery, fell in love with Mitra's work, not so much for its concept, but for its aesthetic. I think there's just an extreme beauty. You, you see her work and you don't really know what it is, but you're drawn to it with some kind of intrigue about what it is. Um, it's very seductive and tactile. They seem kind of um, amoebic, the way they sort of wiggle after you move them. Yeah. Mitra's work will be featured in Next New, the gallery's program showcasing emerging artists. So I brought a 
multiplicity as well. Great. Which is the cast blue. Oh, I just love these. <laughs> you know, I'm always trying to better understand the way I affect everything. And once people get close enough to realize what those materials are, it's kind of that, oh, I never realized that, you know, something like this could be made out of tape or be made out of glue. So I think that shift in relationship to the material, I would hope kind of brings about a, a certain awareness. I think that there is a playfulness and an innovation and a lightness of being about Mitra's work that is inherent. It made me smile. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you.